Hello and welcome to the Growth Channel Podcast. Here is your host, RJ. Welcome back to the Growth Channel Podcast. It's very nice to be with you once again. And today, I want to talk to you about the three steps to discover the purpose of your life. Determining what our purpose is in life can be one of the hardest questions that we as humans must try to answer. In this podcast, we will be going through a step-by-step process, exploring your feelings and options, and by the end, you should have a fairly solid tool you can immediately employ in your life to give it a meaningful direction. The Growth Channel Podcast, broadcasting worldwide. To get all the free resources you need to grow your business, visit www.onlinegrowthchannel.com www.onlinegrowthchannel.com for 100% free resources. There are three steps to the process of discovering the purpose of your life. First, understanding the principle of choice. Secondly, creating your underlying principle. Thirdly, aligning your life with this underlying principle. So let's look at the first step in discovering the purpose of your life. That is understanding the principle of choice. Norman Vincent Peale has this to say about the power of choice. Quote, the greatest power we have is the power of choice. It is an actual fact that if you have been groping under unhappiness, you can choose to be joyous instead and by effort lift yourself into joy. If you tend to be fearful, you can overcome that misery by choosing to have courage. The old trend and the quality of anyone's life is determined by the choices that are made." In quote. Choosing is the most important activity of your mind. Because by making a choice, you are proclaiming your desires to your subconscious mind. Once the subconscious mind gets to know your desires, it is going to do anything to manifest them in your life. The choices you make in your life become your goal. And if you are sincere in pursuing them, there is no reason why you should not accomplish them. Indecision, on the other hand, not only creates frustration and anxiety, but can also confuse the subconscious mind about what you want. Because it is important that the choices you make are made by you in accordance with your true desires, purposes and aptitude. A lot of us let others make choices for us or make our choices according to what we think is correct, even if that means that we go against our wishes. What is right for someone else might not be right for you. And the way to know this is listening to what your heart says. So, to begin with, make a list of things which interest you, things which you have always enjoyed, which make you feel better, which inspire you to search ahead. No matter what obstacle you face, do you like doing something creative or something artistic? Do you enjoy nature? Do you like the sea? Do you enjoy helping others? Do you get pleasure out of making a difference in other people's life? Whatever it is that interests you, write it down and answer these questions. What things do you love to do? What is it that you love about this thing and why? How could you do this for money and make a living out of it? You are listening to the Growth Channel Podcast. Are you interested in doing an online tourism business course? Please visit tourismbusinessonline.com, tourismbusinessonline.com. Visit www.ogcwebsiteagency.com for affordable and quality websites. www.ogcwebsiteagency.com ogcwebsiteagency.com Next step is to examine the list you just made and find out if there's any recurring theme. Maybe it is the contribution that keeps coming up or an effect to seek or give love or helping your parents cope with old age. Whatever it is, 
try to identify the central theme of the things you love to do and try to put it in a short and precise statement. This will be your mission statement. It may even be a quote by a famous person or a philosophy that has influenced you. Of course, as you grow up, the statement could evolve, but its soul will remain the same. Now write down your mission statement. You are listening to the Growth Channel Podcast. Visit www.ogcvideoagency.com for high-quality short videos to market your services or products on social media. www.ogcvideoagency.com And the last step in discovering the purpose of your life is aligning your life with your underlying principle. The final step in this journey is to map your path to your ultimate purpose and to begin implementing changes that help to align your daily life with your underlying purpose. By making these little changes in your lifestyle, you will start to be able to begin living this principle out each and every day. It might take a few days, but by becoming aware and intentional of this underlying principle of your life, you will certainly start to feel the difference in your enthusiasm for life as a whole. If you realize that you love being amidst nature, plan out your holiday. Maybe an outing with your children could be enough to recoup with your energy. If you discover that you enjoy helping those in need, start to look for opportunities to volunteer in your community. On the other hand, you might even want to change your job or start a new business that is more in line with your mission. So, there you have it. By following along with the steps outlined in this podcast, you will be on your way to finding and living out your purpose. And as you go through this process, just remember, you were put on this earth to achieve your greatest self, to live out your purpose, and to do it courageously, as Steve Maraboli said. So, in this podcast, we have covered the three steps to discover the purpose of your life. That brings us to the end of this episode. Please like or follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and subscribe to our YouTube channel and podcast platforms. The Growth Channel podcast is broadcasted once weekly every Thursday at 3 p.m. Beijing time, GMT plus 8. Until next time, please stay safe and be blessed. Till we meet again.